so I thought I'd shoot a little video for you guys. This is the calm before the storm. Maybe I'll do a little video, um, kind of like a before and after when this place is rammed full of people. But there's the sound board right there. There's the stage. And we're in a place, where am I? We're in Indianapolis at the 8 Second Saloon. And about to do a show just on the road with Scott Stapp. And sometimes when you're on the road, man, you know, you're spending, like I started at 6 a.m. leaving my house this morning and waking up. And I spent most of the day traveling, um, getting here, um, responding to emails, setting things up, advancing the show, and uh, also, of course, setting up merch. Here's the merch. We've got three bands there. And then Scott is on the other side. And it's amazing how out of the, you know, 12, 14 hour day touring, um, my part that I play on stage is 30 minutes, you know, and then signing autographs and hanging out and selling merch and all that stuff. And that's a part of it. And it's a lot of hard work. And, you know, sometimes you see all the dates, you see the tour, but, you know, it's not all just about being on the stage. And um, that's where the hard work comes in. And, you know, putting in the work during the downtime and when I'm traveling, putting in work and promoting and doing social media posts, doing videos from my fans or hangouts or whatever it is just to keep promoting and keep things moving because I'm uh, just about to walk up on the stage here. This is where I spend probably the least amount of my time as an uh, artist. You know, this is where I spend the least, but this is what most people see the most is they see what is this stage. You know, you see the acts, you see the drums, you see the performing and, you know, rocking, rocking people's faces off. But the truth is, um, that's where the least amount of work is. It's behind the scenes. It's in the writing the songs, writing great songs, so that you can crush it on here. But the cool thing, and why I teach you guys a lot about you know selling your music online and all that stuff, is because you know if you have good songs, those songs can be working for you 24/7. And so you know the goal here is is to to make new fans tonight, and is to play in front of new people, connect with them, build that really strong bond, so that they continue to you know buy and listen to my music for for lifetime. You have a lifetime fan you know and it's amazing having lifetime fans and um, one of the best ways to do that is to tour and so that's why I'm always encouraging you guys to get on to shows and go to open mics and do all this stuff and um, I'm gonna teach you guys um, something really special at the end of this video so let's uh, let's switch over to that right next I got a little surprise here for you peace Okay guys, here is the company that I personally like to use right now and it is TuneCore.com, T-U-N-E-C-O-R-E.com. If you click on their pricing here, this will show you the breakdown. Again, you have to have your music distributed for them for you to access the YouTube royalties and monetization okay for them to monetize your channel you have to do the distribution first okay and also I want to say this too you don't want to be mixing some albums over here and some over with CD Baby as you can see right here TuneCore versus CD Baby they do their own breakdown and basically what you what I've already done the homework for you is basically you know there's an ongoing fee every single year with uh, TuneCore and there's the one-time music publishing administration to access the YouTube revenue and whatnot, but then they take a much smaller percentage. Where CD Baby, it's um they take a larger percentage, but you can kind of get in there for cheaper. So it really depends who you want to work with. Both companies are great. Again, I personally use TuneCore because I've just got a really good relationship with them, and they we've done actually an even further partnership to work with Believe Digital. Depending on how big of an artist you are, they'll actually partner with you to help you go after more money. But I will say this, and this isn't meant to be, um, you know, a comparison model, but one of the things that CD Baby offers that TuneCore doesn't is Rumblefish. And I'm just going to go back here and show you that, but if you click on Boost Your Income and you click on YouTube Income, You'll be able to see here, I think it's on this page, actually, nope, it's over here, um, License Your Music, I think it's under. Um, so they do, they, they've worked with... Um, Rumblefish to get your music licensed into really small YouTube videos and micro sync licensing. As far as I know, TuneCore does not offer that, and the micro sync licensing can add up to some dollars. But at the end of the day, you got to be happy with who you're with. My whole point is, is I just want you to start monetizing your videos on YouTube. 
okay I want you to start putting claims on all these videos and get it all set up well first of all you need to be selling your music if you're not even selling it and distributing it okay and having it on iTunes Apple music well then that's the first thing but then the second thing is you better start monetizing those videos and I want to say don't be scared to jump into this don't be scared to try things and test things out. I remember still when iTunes and digital music was still, you know, kind of new to the platform and all I knew was CDs and I didn't understand this whole streaming and I thought I was like giving away my rights or something like that. You're not giving up any of your rights when you do these publishing administration. They're just going to collect your money. They're going to get what's yours. You're not giving up any rights or anything like that, whether you're working with TuneCore, CD Baby, or AdRev. You're just giving them the license to go collect the money that is yours. See this? Keep 100% ownership. Keep 90% of the royalties we collect. I think it was on uh, for CD Baby, you get 70%. But again, you have to pay the yearly fee for the album every year. Because look, first album, 29 the first year. Second year, and going forward, 50 bucks a year. Okay? So again, depends on where you're at in your career and how much money you're making. But I find once you start hitting that larger tier past the four figures, thousand and plus, it's better to pay the bigger fee as opposed to the or the bigger fee and get the lower percentage taken out as opposed to small fee at the front and then big percentage at the end. You end up actually spending more money even though your upfront cost is lower. So again, TuneCore, CD Baby, create an account then monetize your videos. It takes a few weeks for them to monetize and send out all the little robots all over YouTube and start putting claims on there and putting claims on all the videos because there's thousands of videos possibly or hundreds of videos of yours out there. Who knows? You just might not even know. And that's the cool thing. There might be a whole bunch of money out there that you start raking in. So I encourage you, stop waiting and start doing this ASAP.